Hey everybody, it's Rhea here with today's message from the heart. And I already shuffled and the card that presented itself today was this little card here. And it's entitled, Be Happy. And the message is, it's not so much what you do as it is how you feel when you're doing it. When you feel happy, it puts you in a state of higher vibration where you are tuned into a higher frequency of guidance. Let the feelings of joy and happiness be your guide. So this card is pretty straightforward. It's just saying, hey, be happy. And that is how you communicate to the universe is through your feelings. So when you're in a vibration of being happy, you are communicating to the, to the uh, universe that, hey, I'm feeling really good, and so the universe will bring you forth, or not bring forth, but reflect back. It's more of a reflecting back the energy that you are vibrating at. So if you're doing something because you think you need to do it, but it doesn't really make you happy, if you're doing it more out of obligation, necessity, thinking you need to, but it doesn't bring forth the feelings of joy, then how the universe hears that is, oh, he or she isn't really in an enjoyment vibration, a higher vibration, see, vibration or frequency of love and joy and happiness. So the universe, the world, reflects back that very vibration that you are emitting. So like the card says, it's not so much what you do, it's how you feel when you are doing it because that is the language of the universe. That is the language of um, God. It is through feeling. It's through emotion. It's not so much the act of doing. It is behind what is the act of doing that the universe will relate to, will reflect back to you. Like, let's say... Uh, going to work well in our lives we do need to go to work there is this certain 3d reality our mindset at the moment of having to you know bring in an income to you know go about our daily lives paying bills to to uh, get back what we want at least some of us are you know we're still in that paradigm and so when you go to work you might say well how the heck do I go to work and feel good about it when I really don't want to go to work even though you're going to work. So then you might think, well, the universe is just going to give me more of that kind of stuff in my life, not have tos or having to go through the action without the feeling of love and joy. But what that can be is you have that in your life for a reason to bring you to an expanded perception, a percent, a per, expanded awareness. So when you are going to work and say you don't really feel like going to work, in general, you like your work, but it's become more of a obligational, kind of a rut, um, kind of just going through the motion as a means to an end, as a means to a paycheck. Well, the challenge in that, or shall I say the opportunity, could be to find the happiness and joy in that, in the moment. So find something that will bring forth an emotion of a higher vibration in relation to going to work. It could simply be that day it's a nice day and say, hey, I gotta go to work. You know what? I don't necessarily feel like going to work, but hey, it's a sunny day and I'm gonna embrace it. Or I get to talk to so-and-so at work today. Or you know what? At the end of the week when I get that paycheck, I'm gonna do this with it. Or it's helping me towards my goals. Or this might not be the end job, my uh, dream job that I want, but you know what? It's a stepping stone to getting to where I want to be. So if you can find a place, get yourself to a space of appreciation, of gratitude in the moment, because everything is your choice through your mind. So you can choose to focus on not wanting to go to work, or you can find something, and it has to be sincere, something that you that brings forth a little emotion, that makes you appreciate or um, go to work in a higher vibration. And it could be just baby steps. Like a lot of people might say, well, if you don't like your job, just leave it if it's not bringing you joy. But that's easier said than done. And a lot of times, 
all the time. We are giving on our path that which helps us to get to the next level, to get to where we want to go, to, um, to gain some knowledge about ourselves, to gain an awareness of um, a higher perception, um, to transmute something negative into positive, as simple as that. So if you are going to a job and you don't really feel like going to it, find, find a reason to, to appreciate that and a sincere appreciation because that is how you move. I got paint in my hand. <laughs> That's how you move um, to the next, the next stepping stone in life. And if you want those stepping stones, if you want the next path, if you want the next little road to be something of um, higher joy, then you've got to find that higher joy in the moment because the universe, the world, the 3D manifestation is always giving you back a mirror image of the energy that you are, the inner world that you're living in your, in your being, in your heart that you're tuning into. So there isn't really any way out than then embracing the moment and finding finding something about that thing that you might not be loving find something to appreciate about it and that's the way with anything in life it's the way of relationships jobs yourself finding something like if you're not happy with yourself finding that you know you always hear oh you got to love yourself find that love but well, sometimes it's baby steps and you got to find something that you really appreciate about yourself in order to expand because what you grow on i mean what you grow what you focus on grows it's even like um a project you're working on a piece of art a puzzle you're putting together a child you're raising as you focus on that beauty and that love and you're nurturing it it keeps get expanding into greater and greater like a little seed you plant in a pot you want to grow a flower you keep watering it you send it love you take care of it and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger well that's the same with any focal point in your life when you focus on it your focus is the fuel your focus and attention to whatever it is is the source um, the food source the fuel um, it is the uh, engine, it's, it's what grows, it's what grows and expands and is reflected back to you through your life. So this card is just saying, be happy. It sounds simple and I know sometimes the simple things, we make them complex, but find one little thing about, about anything. Maybe you've, you have to, you want to exercise or the doctor says you need to exercise or you just want to, but you really don't like it. Well, find maybe an exercise that you do enjoy or find something about the exercise that you can appreciate, like even your health, being able to go through the motion of exercising or finding uh, good music to listen to while you're exercising. Anything that brings you your focal point into a negative, into a positive. And like I said, it, a lot of times it's just baby steps, but those baby steps expand just like a baby walking. It doesn't start off doing marathons. It starts off with, you know, just holding on and balancing itself while it stands up, taking a tiny little step, then falling down. I mean, that's symbolic of life itself and, and anything that you want to um, achieve in life and, and um, expand upon. That little focus grows and it gets more developed. Just like an artist at work, a musician, a genius. They focus on what it is they want to achieve in a positive light and it gets bigger and bigger. Or if you're focusing on something you don't want to achieve and that gets more dense and bigger and bigger. So the power is always yours. And when you're tuning in to the heart, what things that really do make you happy and, and genuine emotions that you connect to that bring you to a higher vibration that automatically will bring forth um, greater happiness and more opportunities to be happy. So yeah, when you're tuned into the higher frequency, you're automatically tuned into a higher guidance too. You receive answers to problems. You receive um, guidance on the next move or what to do next or what to what direction to take because when you're operating in a higher frequency you're gonna get higher frequency answers and just like they say 
if you have a problem and you're focusing on the problem, you got to get out of that vibration because you're not going to solve the problem at the same frequency that it began. So simple as being in a rut. To get yourself out of that rut, find something to appreciate, and then that rut slowly starts to dissolve and become something different. Now the picture of this card, it's a little, um, it's, a, it's a picture of an uh, impressed heart. It's like the pavement has a hole in it, but the hole is the shape of a heart. It's like it's just in, in the pavement. And I guess this, how I interpret this card is an everyday 3D reality, because pavement is man-made, you know, it's a mixture of stuff that man has made to make a road. Well, sometimes those everyday ruts, which are man-made, everyday routines, the mundane things you got to do in the 3D reality can become kind of hard and, and not so fluid and you, and you place um, have-tos in it, have-tos or obligation or things, things are, you feel they're kind of set in stone, things you got to do in life, things you're supposed to do and just to live the human experience. But what this is telling us is you can break free of that. You can break through that wall even within living in that wall by making it um, a more joyous experience, focusing on the love, focusing on the higher frequency, focusing on something that you are grateful for. Because when you can do that, even in the mundane tasks in life or the have-tos that you're going through before you get to the next step, you break open that wall. You break, you break free of the, the limitations and you delve deeper into your own self and deeper into your being. And then that will manifest in your um, 3D reality. So it's saying delve deeper into the emotion, find the emotion of love and you break free of the mundane and you make it a more joyous experience. All right guys, so this card, it just brings a little focal point for today and the, the things that you think are limiting in life, if you can find the joy in them, you break free and then you produce a greater amount of joy and happiness to be reflected back within that 3D reality, within that man-made human-made um, world. All right, guys, hopefully this brought a little insight to someone. Thank you for listening and have an awesome day.